Welcome to the viewers and subscribers. Welcome to everyone. This is Politics Watch J A, and I just want to tell you thanks for the support thus far. And we have now activated our our Instagram page. You can find it at Politics Watch J A, and you can email us at Politics Watch J A at gmail dot com. Mr. Logix, talk to viewers and subscribers for me, please. So big up to our viewers, our subscribers, our listeners. Big up, guys. And tune in to Politics Watch JA channel for the best in local affairs, politics, international affairs, guys. I'm glad that you guys are subscribing to our channel. But we need more subscribers, so continue to like, share our channel to your friends, your family, your community. And so in your workplace or at your workplace. So guys, big up again once more. All right, so viewers and subscribers. We just see a news come out and we are going to discuss it. Alright, so today we are doing the, the program a little bit different. We are going to go on Instagram and check out some posts. Check out a post made by the Gleaner and discuss it. So the Gleaner made a post that, um, and it says, The latest Dan Anderson poll has found that 54.5% of Jamaicans have a positive view of Prime Minister Andrew Olness, while 53.2% of them have a positive view of opposition leader Mark Golin. The poll commissioned by the People's National Party was conducted between June 8 to 14 among 1,012 Jamaicans and as a margin of error or plus, margin of error or plus or minus 3%. But you see, Mr. Logix, before we, we get down in our way, the, the 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 persons um comment on this post eh? oh Dan Anderson not tell you which part the poll are conducted well um apparently they did the poll on island wide it's an island wide poll island wide um, yeah island wide the reason why I know that they did in island wide because I am one of those persons that is actually involved in that poll Jesus um, peace Mr Lagis that means uh, you are biased then. You're politically no, they biased. Came to me during the same week, I was, remember I said to you that um they, they stopped at me during the same week and said that they were doing a poll, PMP commission poll, and, and I asked the lady if it was just within Kingston area. She said no, they are they are all in all fourteen parishes. So in our fourteen parishes, they only use one thousand twelve um um right. candidates. So yes. Yeah, so what they do is like almost pick out one hundred persons from each parish, basically. But a 14 parish we have, so we're supposed to have 1,400. Yeah. Yeah, so basically that's, um, that's basically what they, they, they come about. Because Kingston 19 and you know that they counted in one as 30. So that would be 13, right? So what they did is um, go into public spaces and pick, up, pick out a close to 100. Well, that's our first red flag still. But viewers and subscribers, make we read some of my comments them. What the people in the world? Because look at the great USA, right? Remember that the great USA which has 350 million people, you know, right? They only use 1,200 people when they are doing their election polling, and we have 3 million and we're still using the, the 1,200. We're then using the same amount of persons. Okay. All right, so, so my, yeah, so, so so my, so my comments like, them under this post. I can read, I read about 8 or 10 of them. The first one is. Yeah, man. Mark Golden is a man of integrity and is a brilliant corporate liar. This person get four replies. I'm not going to read the replies. If JLP goes back into power and migrating, give someone else a chance to mess up the country. That get four, five replies. Both the same. But from JLP one the country, the inner poverty non-stop. This get seven replies. A new leadership is necessary. Can we say we have been a better nation with big nose? Where is the prosperity? And this get um, two replies. Um, next one. No one living in Jamaica needed a poll to confirm this. The people are extremely weary. This get one reply. How about neither? This get two reply. No black people to lead majority black country. This get five reply. JLP FM coming with a contradiction. That not get no reply. Holness will not lose. The global elites have plans for him and already gave him his mandate. 
Um, people need to stop with the narrative that Jamaican in poverty from JLP take over. Some of us sit down and wait for politicians to do everything for us. It is exhausting. The way people tear this government down, you would think they have not done anything good since they are in power. And that get one reply. Golin are the same thing. They want power to get a cut of cheese too. That get two reply. We the Jamaican people need a change of government. Fire heart emoji. The country has been falling a feeling but falling the people have been suffering the children need a better way of life and living for um laugh emoji crime plans feel this government is selling out our good jamaica flag and emoji come to mark with a fairy one to fix the country three laughing emoji this country is a whole joke and a crying emoji and the last one Young people them start mark goal in tired labor rights. Alright, so um it's a logic. You're, you're surprised by the outcome of this poll um for, for mark goaling against Andrew Wallness. Um, could you repeat the question anyway? Are you surprised by the outcome of this poll result? I'm surprised, mark... okay. Um, no, uh, no, I'm not surprised because the PMP has been campaigning for one year and they have making a lot of inroads, a lot of ground on the JLP. So I'm not surprised. Um, by it. the only thing I'm surprised by is that Andrew Olin still has a one percent lead over Mark Golden in terms of favorability, right? You're surprised That's by the only that? Thing I'm... Yeah. You're surprised Andrew Olin still have a, have a higher favorability over Mark? Yeah, by, by one. I'm still surprised because I think that Mark has done enough to surpass him now in terms of likability. But then Mark is not seen as the, the social media politician. No, but I know social media then do the, the survey on. No, we do it when I say social media politician. I mean, Andrew Owen is like to brand himself on social media all over. Yeah, right, but, in but, terms of branding. I guess I remember likability regarding leaders in Jamaica, right? It's a popular contest now. Yes. Just, just let our viewers and listeners know it has nothing to do with policies. Again, Jamaica actually does vote along policy lines um, for, for decades now. So it's a popular contest. So to see that the Andrew Onis is slightly still more popular than Mark Golding in terms of favorability, um, I think Mark would have been surpassing by now. But I think um, one of the reasons for that is age as well as Mark is not seen as a, as a leader with charisma. No, but remember saying no, Andrew Wallace can say, but I am working, 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 traveling and doing all type of stuff. Mark Golding just sit down and just uh, chat off his mouth. But, but Andrew said that this week in Parliament that he's working, 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 while the opposition leader is out oh, there creating mischief, mischief, mischief. Yes. <laughs> so, so Andrew, right? Andrew, but Andrew, Andrew hold on. But Mr. Logics, Andrew no say him have the capability to crank up his, his machinery anytime he's ready. Yes, he said that he has the capability to crank up the machine whenever he's ready and so they must not take him lightly. What he's suggesting is that he's trying to say that the PMP has been out there campaigning while he and his government is not really doing that. Yeah. But guess what? Whenever they decide to do that and touch or in Jamaican terms, when they, whenever they, they decide to do road or touch road, yeah. then you see a shift in momentum towards them. That is what he's saying. So your fee is uh, by by Mark Golding campaigning, he might surpass Andrew Wallace in favorability. If he continues like this, uh, the campaign that they're doing and JP not doing none, doing anything, then he's going to surpass him before the end of the year because he has been closing in. A uh, few months ago, he was like um, 10 percentage points behind. Now it's just 1 percentage points behind. So, Mr. Logic, you really feel that Jamaican citizens I go vote for JLP for a uh, uh, undivided and uh, uh, and chaotic PM People's National Party. Um, at the moment, it seems to be that case based on what the people are seeing on the ground and um what the polls are also showing. Cause even the independent polls few months ago that nationwide did right, it shows that the PMP had a one percentage point lead as well, one percent, so, which is within the margin of error. And it also shows that the PMP was, was winning most of the seats, especially in this side of the country, in West Milan, in St. Anne, in St. Thomas, that's nationwide, you know, we know that nationwide 
is seen as a particle affiliated with a particle's party. So yeah. um, they, their own poll conducted just a few months ago showed that the PMP was one percentage point in the lead, so which is within the margin of error. So where, where that suggests to Andrew Wallace now? We you suggest say, if we call election now, next three months, six months, where you suggest? No, what no, if I was Andrew Oldness, I would even call it election now, cause guess what? He has until um we're in what, twenty twenty three? He has until twenty twenty five to call it election. So two more years basically, right? Mm -hmm. So Andrew Oldness is thinking right now, we're in the midterm, according to that is their reason, along with the information minister Robert Minister Morgan, when they were asked um while they are behind the PMP in the nationwide poll released few months ago, they said that during midterm, which is where in now, the part in government normally is very, very um, um, unpopular. And he, he points to midterm election right across the world. In ever democratic countries where the government during a midterm is not seen as favorable and opposition normally leading. But by time we reach the next general election, then the government um, bumps back. Into, the, into favorability and and in the polls. So it remains to be seen um, what will happen over the next two years because in my estimation, Andrew is likely to call election next year close close to Christmas. So may I ask you something? Your face, Andrew Wallace, I got delayed the, the local government election seeing that the polls are favor the PMP. Yes, it's going to delay. That's also part of the reason. It's going to delay because having PMP win the uh, local government elections right now, right, is not, is not going to do well for the JNP, um, actually, in terms of even governance, because the PMP, PMP should control all the parish councils. And you know that it's the parish councils that normally do the road projects and road network then. That is going to be a problem for the JLP right now. So it's best that if I was them, I would um, continue to postpone it. If I was thinking along that line, like how they are thinking. All right, viewers and subscribers, I couldn't know what to think about this you now. If you think so the poll was accurate, you think it's just a snapshot of just one geographical area, where you feel say Andrew on the do, you feel say Mark Golden for do. What you think you as the voters looking on should do? Viewers and subscribers, it's early days, but you're very unpredictable. And remember, we have, uh, yeah, have um, talk about that they, in the party polls, they are leading by 5%. So, because what we talk about is the leadership. So, the party show PMP right now by 5%. Yes. That is outside of the margin of error, which is a big factor because the margin of error is plus or minus 3. So, PMP leading by 5% is actually outside of the margin of error, which means that um, there, um, if, there, if an election should call no, it will be a guarantee that PMP will win, win based on the fact that it is not within the margin of error. No, but may I say, how accurate are these um, poll? Well, what I would say about um, polls are normally conducted. Scientific polls like those in Jamaica are normally conducted with, with around 1,200 to 1,400 persons irrespective of the size of the country, right? Yes. So, a 1,200 persons is for 3 million people in Jamaica is, um, is actually the, is actually even more accurate than 1,200 for 350 million people in America, right? So, yeah, but what these polls are, are, what I have just got, got one poll incorrect since he has been doing poll and yeah, that was that more 2016 more. election. How much poll yeah, than yes, and than this will get inaccurate? It's a logic. Yeah, so I was saying, he has only got one poll incorrect and that's 2016 election. Okay. So you know, possible you can't get the yeah. one you're wrong so far. It is always possible because polls are not like um one hundred percent polls are not one hundred percent facts. It's just a synopsis of what is happening in um in the country. What I would say to PMP is that if PMP is going to use this poll to be complacent, they have another not guess coming because if I was PMP and I've been saying it for months now and I still don't see it, um I, I see that they're trying to do it, but if I was PMP I would put in place all my 63 candidates from right now. Let them go on the ground and don't wait until the election is nearby, like the last time, for them to put in um, 
candidate that is not familiar with the people. They should be doing that right now. I see they are doing it um in some states, but it is causing controversy. No, but what me I say still, um the earlier them do it and more money to cost and PNP not have the money there for why they don't want to do it. And not just them, even JP, JP also doesn't do it as well because they are saying that the earlier they do it, it is going to cost them more money. But if the PMP really want to return to power, remember that JP have 49 seats in us, so PMP has to overturn at least 20 basically yeah. of those seats, right? So if PMP want to at, at, um, turn over at least 20 seats, what I would do, I would, if I was PMP, the smart thing to do is target 20 seats from the JP and put 20 candidates in 20 seats and focus on 20 seats. Plus them, them, them soccer's sure seat. Yeah, those so those all the seats that they lost to the JLP, a lot of them were were so were known as PMP stronghold. Like the seats in Westmoreland, all three were known as PMP seats. And Bunting and seats. In and Bunting in Mandeville. If I was PMP, I would focus on regaining back those seats. All right, viewers and subscribers, thank you for stay so far and listen to a discussion on the polls that was released by Dan Ansel. Dan Anderson about Mark Golin and um and Jewelness. And Jewelness, I, mean, I know you're gonna sleep tonight, you know, but I hope. I hope, you know? Alright. Mr. Logic. I think I think they will start the campaigning after seeing this for us. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Logic, <laughs> look more. Yeah man.